Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. And I am your host, Kristen Ostrander. And I have some urgent, urgent news and message for you. Um, If you're a regular listener of the Amazon Files or you're just tuning in for the first time, there is unofficial news, but very credible evidence of a change that Amazon may be making. And I want you guys to know right away. Okay, so you know I am uh, have 20 years of e-commerce experience. I've been on Amazon since 2014, um, teaching since 2014, been on Amazon since 2008. So I've been selling a long time. I understand the language they use. I understand uh, the policies and how they roll out policies and how they begin enforcing policies and making them. Uh, I have many people I speak with, like people like Riverbend Consulting, who have ex-Amazonians working there. And you just have a lot of ins in the network area talking about about Amazon and two professionals and people that have worked there, have worked there, do work there, things like that. And I know how they, how and when they start making policy changes and, and based on some of the, the people that I speak with behind the scenes and things like that. And um, it has come to my attention with that, with what's going on behind the scenes. Now I, can't, I have to be very careful because they have non-disclosures. I have to keep proprietary information quiet, but I, it's a sort of a leak in a sense that what's happening to clients right now and what's happening to my clients and some of you and uh, listeners and wholesale bundlers and people that are selling on Amazon, what are they doing? Well, they're, they're cracking down on what their version of a brand is and why does this matter? Well, this matters because although Amazon has a written policy, they are trying to enforce more requirements right now, even though they're not written in the policies. And what does that generally mean? It generally means that if they're starting to tighten up on their restrictions when they say, okay, here's the policy for branding, and then you meet the criteria and they still deny you, and then they don't have any other reasons to give you, it's because they're probably updating that policy as we speak and as soon as they are ready to reveal it and all their legal team can get yeah, i don't even know if they have legal teams to look over this stuff to be honest some of their stuff is so ridiculous i don't even think a legal team would say it's allowed but anyways we're still going to go through and talk about this so three out of four clients that i've had in the past two weeks just these clients have had issues with brand approval They've done every single thing that Amazon has asked them to do as far as their images, their branding, their logo, their documentation, and Amazon's still telling them no. What this generally means is either A, they're in the process of updating this process, so they want to um, they want to, uh, they're going to change it. So in the process of changing it already. And so by the time that you actually get compliant, which you might already be, they're already changing the policy. So there's one thing. And then the other thing is that they're going to soon roll out either a new process or a new policy. And they're, they're restricting branding. They really, really, really want you to be brand registered because it's a whole new system and process for them. It's protection from them. It's an extra layer of verification of identity and all kinds of things. Um, Don't let that scare you. It's just policy. This is what corporations do to make sure that all their duckies are in a row. And let me just be honest, Amazon cares way more about their bottom line than they do about you. So let's just put that out there. They're not really here. They say it's seller support. I kind of laugh, I'm like support like an old antique wooden bridge about to fall down. That's the kind of support that they offer, but that's a conversation for another day, right? Reality is that if you want to play on Amazon's playground, you have to follow their rules and they can update them whenever they want to and give you very little notice. Here's the deal. You don't want to be scrambling to try to figure out your brand and your trademark for your Amazon store when they make it mandatory that you have to. I've said this before and it's come to pass. I've said things before that G10 exemptions were going to go away and that Amazon was going to do a different system in a process and they didn't do it um, maybe the way that I had expected, but they did make a lot of changes. I'm here to just warn you, you've heard it, you're accountable now. Those of you have been sitting on the fence about trademarks, it's time y'all, it's time. You will thank me later. And let me tell you this. I'm here to give you, this episode is all about giving you the facts and sort out some of the expenses and the process so you don't have to worry. You don't have to go into it with fear. And guess what? 
this might be controversial, don't care. You do not need an attorney to file a U.S. trademark. You don't need to. You don't have to. It's not required. You are smart enough to do it on your own. And guess what? If you have Wholesale Bundles 3.0, then you have a step-by-step guide of how to do it on your own. I've done this many times for myself and with clients and with case studies and other things. I know how to file a U.S. trademark. I don't have to be an attorney to do so. Neither does yours. Now, the, the, the way and how and which you, how you want to use your brand is really important. So that's something we would discuss. But I can walk you through this on a coaching call. You can sign up for mommyincome.com slash coaching, and I will walk you through the trademark process together with you if you have all of your duckies in a row. You need to have your your specimen ready, your images ready to upload um, with your logo, your name on them, um, on your packaging somewhere. Have to have your brand established. You have to have done the research, which is really quick and easy to do on the T's website. Again, I walk you through this step by step in the wholesale bundle system. So if nothing else, if you don't have a trademark, wholesale bundle system is for you so you can learn how to do a trademark on your own and not spend thousands of dollars on an attorney when really you don't need one. Now, if you're trade, if you're trying to get into like Best Buy and like you're you're you have a patent and you have something that's going to you know something like that, then we can have a conversation because I know the resources that you need. But your typical Amazon seller who's just trying to create an Amazon brand, when I say an Amazon brand, means it's not retail ready. You don't have to have retail ready packaging for Amazon, but you have to be legit. And I'm teaching you how to be legit and where to order your packaging and how to word the, the wording on your packaging so that it's it's Amazon compliant. It's also compliant with other things if you want to sell on Walmart or Target or Macy's or other third party platforms. Be ready, be legit. All your education's right here. So today I'm just going to go through some of these things, what you need, what you don't need. And then if you want formal training, uh, you can get Wholesale Bundle System, which this plus many, many, many other modules are in here, you guys. It's not just trademarking. You learn not only how to trademark, but then how to file your brand registry. I walk you through what it looks like before you even try it. You're welcome. It's awesome. So get Wholesale Bundle System and all this stuff and we'll help you. But these are just like the cliff note facts to kind of talk you off the ledge and realize it is a big deal, but it's not a, it's not that big of a deal. You can do it. We can do it together. You can do it on your own. You're smart enough. You're capable. All you need is a guide. And I've got that and I've got your back. Okay, so here are some of the facts about branding and brand registry and Amazon and trademarks. Get your pens, get your paper, get your sticky notes because you're ready, right? They're tightening up on restrictions, right? As of now, they allow you to do a brand approval, meaning you don't have to have a USPTO serial number. You don't have to have a registered trademark. But the criteria that they give you for your brand approval is they want you real world images. You cannot have a mock-up box. This, y'all, qualifies. Did you get your pens out? Are you ready to take notes? Are you taking notes? Because you're going to need this. This here can qualify you for brand registry. It is a poly bag with my logo made by Sticker Mule. Mommyincome.com forward slash Sticker Mule. Yes, you can get these in less than seven days, seven to ten days max. You can get as little as 25 of them made and they're delivered right to your door. I love Sticker Mule. I've had so many things made by them. I've had packaging, packaging tape, logos, uh, stickers, bumper stickers, um, things for other companies. I have private label bundle stickers uh, that I made by Sticker Mule. So mommyincome.com slash Sticker Mule. Why do you want to use that link? First of all, yes, it's an affiliate link. You get free $10. I get free $10. We both win. So if you want custom packaging, get um, Sticker Mule and get your custom packaging. Why? Because that's part of brand approval. If you want your brand approved by Amazon, if you're listing something for the first time and you're trying to use Kristen's favorite things as your brand, then Kristen's favorite things needs to be recognized by Amazon. And there are certain criteria you need to meet. This is, again, brand approval. Brand registry comes with U.S. trademark. That's a different conversation. I'm going to show you the differences of why you don't want to do brand approval and why you want the trademark. Brand approval is fine. You prove it, you show that. My clients have gone through this and Amazon is denying them, telling them it's not enough. As soon as you brand register and you have that USPTO number, they're like, oh, oh, you went through the government? Okay, you're approved and you move on. You don't have to have UPCs. You don't have to have GTINs. You have a brand registered with Amazon. They trust the government that 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 entity takes that time to approve that that trademark. Guess what else? You don't have to wait the full 
nine to 12 months until your trademark's approved. They just want the registration number and they're gonna say, oh, this is pending with the USPTO. You're welcome to list items under this brand until either A, you're finally approved by the government or B, you're denied and then, then which we revoke your brand registry. So they're so kind as to not make you wait a year while you're in the approval process. That's good and bad. If it's bad, if you get denied or you have to do something different later on that then changes, um, it changes how you proceed. So if the government turns you down for your brand registry, then Amazon is going to also decline you. And then you have to revert back to non-brand registry listings. It doesn't remove all your listings. It's just, you're not protected under brand registry anymore. And then it gets complicated after that. But most likely if you're issued a serial number Amazon accepts that serial. Now you're brand registered. Now you're in control of your listings, your control of your packaging, all these things. But both processes require images of your brand, product, package, and or all. They want the branding crystal clear. So if it's complicated, if it's 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 hard to read, whatever else, they're, they're most interested in the name of the trademark or the name of the brand matching exactly what's on the packaging. AKA my mommy income logo here. It's really one, two words with a logo. It's really simple, easy, and it's very large. This is undeniably a real world image. It's not a mock-up when I'm holding it in my hand like this and kind of shows that it's real world. Well, in the brand approval process, Amazon says that's fine. I've had some clients go through this and it may be denied. Here's the problem with that. They really, really want you to brand register. And then instead of changing the policy right now, they're simply denying people even if they meet the criteria. This is Amazon at their very best, AKA worst. It's their playground. They're allowed to change rules anytime they want. They don't even have to write them down. They can deny you and you can say, well, why not? I've done everything you wanted me to do. And it can still be, eh, cause we said so. That sucks, that's hard. It doesn't happen super often because the squeaky wheel gets the grease. If you continually open these cases and continually prove that you have a legitimate brand and you have legitimate packaging and you're meeting all the criteria and you tell them so, they will approve you. Maybe not the first time, the second time or the third time, but they'll approve you. They will get so sick of you opening a case every four days that they will just say yes to you. Or they will give you a detailed ex exclamation explanation <laughs> of why they denied you. And most of the time they don't. They give you a canned email that says, ah, this doesn't meet the criteria, go back to square one. Oh, this doesn't meet the criteria, come back to square one. But they don't tell you how, why, or where. It's very frustrating. I will be very honest in that. It's very frustrating. However, it is possible to get past that iron door. So this is my soapbox. This is something I'm just instructing you to do. Create your brand. If you already have it, get a package that's very crystal clear for Amazon to see and read. There's no question about who made that product, right? That, that, that poly bag I just showed you that has the mommy income name and logo on it. There's no question about what that is. I have a registered trademark with mommy income. Here's my name. Here's my logo. It all matches up and, and I'm holding it in my hand. That meets all the criteria that Amazon wants. They want the branding obvious and cl crystal clear to read. They need to make sure it matches and that understands that you're not saying that you're Kristen's favorite things and then you're actually Caleb's favorite things. Okay, they want everything to match up. They want it to look visually that they can actually read it. So make sure that either a, a, a third grader or someone who speaks English as a second language or anything like that can clearly see and decipher your branding, your name, and that the which is on the packaging. Now, they might ask for the product. The product does not have to have the brand on it. For example, see these cute little lovely earrings I'm wearing? If I'm a jewelry seller, they cannot make it in their policy that my brand name needs to be on these earrings. Why? Because it would ruin the quality of the product. Your clothing has a tag in the back that says the brand. It's not all over printed, unless you're like Louis Vuitton, you know? It's not all over printed. So it could be on a tag, it could be on a package, it could be on a hang tag. So that's what they require. You don't have to have it printed on your product. Okay, so those are the things. And then the number the other question I am going to give you the answer to here. And this is like breakthrough, like um, big uh, moment for a lot of people is that when you're trademarking for Amazon, 
and you are a wholesale bundler. You only need to register in one product class, and it's actually not a product class, it's a service class. One, so you pay $250 and you register your word mark. That means your name, not your logo. You can register your logo. Um, it, it's, a, it's a lot more complicated to uh, trademark and register a specific logo with a specific name. It's not necessary or required for Amazon. So you only need one trademark and at least one product or service class, and it's acceptable by Amazon. They said they just want your serial number. They want to make sure you have a registered trademark and that it matches your name and all the verification. So I suggest if you are a wholesale bundler, you, you trademark in the class of services. You are a custom gift basket you're, you you create custom gift baskets. That is actually a service provided by the USPTO in the class of 045. Yes, I did all that homework for you. You're welcome. Yep. Class 045 goods and it's on, under services and it's custom gift basket creation. So you don't have to register for a product class if you sell baby products and home goods and grocery and you're trying to register one particular trademark. No, you're trademarking your services and your service that you're providing is creating customized product bundles, aka gift baskets, gift boxes, subscription boxes, which the USPTO has not updated their language on this. So but subscription box, subscription boxes should actually be part of that. Um, and it's not, it doesn't have to be a subscription. It's just a, a custom gift basket that I'm selling on Amazon in larger quantities. It's customized. I customized it. So did you. So that qualifies for services. So that means no matter what's inside the package, you are the creator, designer, and providing the service of putting those things together. So I don't want there to be any confusion about trademarking. You need to get it done. I can help you. Other people can help you. Attorneys can help you. You don't need to do that. You don't need to spend all the kinds of money. But there's help there. You don't have to go through all those channels and spend a ton of money and just, you know, do all that. You don't have to be afraid of the process. Regular people can do it. If you know what you're doing, if you have all of your criteria, you have your image, you have your brand, you have done the research and realized that no one else is using your trademark name anywhere on the internet. So yeah, go on the internet, go on Facebook, go on Pinterest, go on places, Google that name over and over again and see what comes up and hope it's you. Because if somebody somewhere out there has another business that's named the same thing and it's in the same kind of area, the government's not going to approve your trademark. They're going to say, oh, so-and-so is using Kristen's favorite things over here in Southern California. And uh, they have, uh, they sell a bunch of trinkets and this and that. And we think it would be a conflict of interest. So we're going to deny you Kristen's favorite things as an actual trademark. You can't trademark that because someone else is something similar. And they definitely don't want any sort of consumer or customer confusion. So that's one of the reasons why we do trademarks and that we make sure that the research is done properly. You can do that all yourself on the uh, on the internet and on the TESS uh, search on the USPTO. Again, all of this step by step is video is on video and step by step and checklists in the wholesale bundle system. You guys, the best Amazon training on the market. Wholesale bundle system. Seriously. It has all the stuff in it. This is just like the cliff notes. Like, can you go do it yourself on your own after you listen to this episode? Sure, you could. You can figure it out. You're a smart person. But it's helpful to know when you have those questions and you're like, oh, she didn't say this in the podcast episode. Yeah, I'm not giving you all the things. It's just the cliff note version. Get a trademark. It also has to be permanently affixed to the package. It can't look like a sticker on a box. That poly bag that I keep holding up, that is permanently affixed. It's printed, pre-printed on there. It's perfect for, for textiles, clothing, you know, things like this, and soft goods, soft lines that aren't going to get damaged. It's also great for uh, things that, that don't ever need to be broken. You know, it doesn't, it can be transparent or it can be opaque or it can be uh, grayscale like that. That's my branding. So my branding on my Amazon stuff is perfectly fine. Uh, these are just, this is just really urgent. I don't want you guys to get stuck. And then all of a sudden Amazon's like, okay, within 30 days. You know what will happen if Amazon does that? Within 30 days, you have to be brand registered or you can no longer create listings. How many of your businesses would change if Amazon made that rule? 
you no longer are allowed to create any listings unless you have a registered brand on Amazon. Those are some heavy words, right? Within 30 days, no more listings for you. What if you're doing art arbitrage and they do that? What if you're doing a uh, wholesale that needs permission from another brand? Are you using brand approval, but then all of a sudden they're like, oh, now you want brand registry. Now all of a sudden you got to get a trademark in 30 days. And so do 2 million of your other seller friends that didn't do it before I said so, right? So now they're going to be booked up Then the system's going to be clogged up and then Amazon's going to go, oh, shoot, maybe we shouldn't have done this. Now we have all these, they're inundated with all these, you know, brand registries and, you know, things like that. You don't want to wait. And I'm not trying to scare you into it. I am trying to protect you from looming danger <laughs> to your Amazon security. That's all I'm doing. If you don't heed the warning, that's up to you. But any of you, if you don't have $250, save it up. As soon as you have $250, file your trademark. In the meantime, do all the research. 15-minute hustles a day, right? What's a 15-minute hustle? Go to 15minutehustle.com and find out. It's my book. It's my mini ebook. It's my system that I, it's, it's a really easy system that I use to get a bunch of stuff done in one day. 15-minute hustles. Everyone's got 15 minutes. And if you have a list and you're prepared, 15 minutes. I know I've given you so many links in this episode. That's because I just care. And I want you guys to stop making mistakes and start just learning and growing your business and making more money and being successful. That's what I want for you. I'm like that mom that's standing over you that wants all that, right? And if you want it too, great. I'm glad you're here. Um, so this is all to just save you the trademarking headaches, the brand, mar brand registry headaches. Again, another thing that you need to remember is that once you're brand registered, you have so many more options to track and, and Amazon gives you a whole new dashboard with uh, things to track and different brands. Guess what? You can have more than one brand on Amazon. And then you have a dashboard and it's like, here's all your brands and here's all the ways you can improve all your brands and here's all your toughest competitors and how you compete. I mean, they give you so much more behind that curtain. It's worth it. And at the end of the day, if you're just registering in one class and it's a services class, it costs you $250 and about it less than an hour of your time. You already need to have some of your images. You need to be using it in commerce already. Um, that's the easiest, fast way. If you're not using that, that's a different conversation. I'll help you walk you through this as well. Just reach out. Now you're left without excuse. Go register your brand. Your if you want to know how to, if you're like, I don't even have a brand. Guess what? I teach you how to create a brand within the wholesale bundle system. You don't know how to brand you don't know how to create a brand great we'll help you we help you every step of the way so if you're ready to create a brand and you're ready to get serious about your amazon business and guess what a trademark and a brand regardless you don't have to be a household name y'all my brand sells really well and most people have never heard of it that's that's the intent right I have a great brand on Amazon. No one, the, only my customers are the ones that like it and know it and come back and buy more and don't. And it doesn't have to be a household name. It just has to make really good money for me on Amazon. That's my criteria. I know it's not sexy, but it is what it is. I don't want it to be in, I don't need to be in Target. I'm just on Amazon. I reach global customers every day with my products. That's why I'm on Amazon, right? That's fine. It has its sets of problems and headaches, but it's also an asset to my business. Your Amazon store is part, it is your business maybe, but it's part of your business. Eventually that's an asset you can transfer to a new owner or sell or uh, get stockholders and investors or merge with another brand that wants to buy your brand. You don't know, but if you have assets, you have value. Your assets, trademark is an intangible asset that you have. It's legit be legit. It doesn't cost a lot of money. It doesn't cost a lot. It just maybe takes less than an hour of your time and then you have an asset. You'll thank yourself later. I know you guys, this is a short episode because I just need to get on the soapbox. I don't want you to do any other thing. You either need to get wholesale bundle system so that you can learn all of these things and turn your business into a legit money-making machine above board having assets. Yeah, I know. Some of you guys think, what is she talking about? I'm just an Amazon seller. I don't care about all that. I'm here to tell you, you go, you're not just an Amazon seller. You're a business owner. You're CEO and janitor at the same time sometimes. And the more legit you are, the more of an asset you're building. It's not just going to dwindle away when you retire. Pass it on to one of your kids. Use it as training. Use it as residual income. 
sell your business or your brand to someone else, things you might not have thought of. You're building an asset. It's not just a little side hustle. Even if it is a little side hustle, still build it right. Because it can turn into more money for you down the road when you're sick of it. Maybe you're somebody who likes to jump ship every five years. Great. So let's say in five years, I'm going to do this Amazon thing for a while, then I'm going to sell it and do something else. Set yourself up for success now. Would you really pinch yourself in a year if it was like, oh my gosh, you know, the difference between ten to $15,000 more on a sale of your business because you have a trademark only costs you an hour of your time and 250 bucks? Wouldn't you pinch yourself for not doing it sooner? Just questions. Just questions. You guys, take this seriously. Take yourself seriously. You're worth it. Do the hard work now and it will pay dividends later. It really will. You'll be proud of yourself. You'll own an asset. You know, yeah, I'm trademarked. Yes, you are. Yes, you can be. Remember, all of these trainings are in the Wholesale Bundle system, mommyincome.com slash system. Reach out to our team if you have any questions. We are here to help you and support you. And we want you to be one of the elite sellers, somebody that has assets. Whether your business makes $5 or $5 million, if the $5 million business doesn't have a trademark, yours is worth more. Now, monetarily, that can be argued, of course, but you know what I mean? It has this value that they don't have. You're protected. You've done the work. You've put in the energy. So thank you so much for listening. Go get your trademark. If you need help, if you need resources, if you need training, we have everything you need here at Mommy Income. Just reach out and we're here to help you. Thank you for listening to the Amazon Files podcast. We'll see you same time, same place next week. Bye, y'all.